So, we're going to take a picture of this coffee cup, and we're going to take a picture of this coffee cup with the steam coming out of it. We'll have to take those two shots separately uh, for reasons that you'll see. And then we're going to put them together in post to make a photo of this coffee cup with steam coming out of it. Well, let's go. So to start with, I've got three lights here. I've got uh, an A light, which is a gridded light in a strip box on the left hand side. Let's turn that one on. And then on the opposite side, I've got another gridded strip light to light up the coffee cup. And then over top, I've got uh, a heavily gridded spot coming down from the top. There we go. I'm shooting it F8 at a 1 250th. We're at ISO 100. Let's take a picture of this coffee cup and we'll see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Light falls off real nice at the back of the table. It turns black. The background above the cup is black. That'll allow our steam to show up once we shoot the steam. So we're going to pour this boiling water in the cup. Being careful to keep the steam going up. Don't want to create too many drafts. There we go. We've got a cup full of boiling water. We've got steam coming up. Take a picture. Oh, we don't see it. What's going on there? Well, we're going to have to turn this exposure a little different to see the steam. So, we're going to turn the ISO up from 100 up to probably 2,000, and we're going to get a shot of the steam. There we go. Turn that ISO up even a little higher, maybe. Okay, so we shot a picture of the coffee cup. We shot a picture of the coffee cup with steam coming out of it at a different exposure. And then we're gonna create an overlay of the steam and put it over top of the coffee cup in Photoshop so you can see the coffee cup lit up nicely and the steam in the same photo. All right, so we're back. We're in the office here and I've got both of these photos we took open in Lightroom. I've got the photo of the coffee cup here and I've adjusted that one a little bit. It's at ISO 100. Everything looks nice and crisp and clean. If we switch to this photo that was taken at ISO 5000, the coffee cup with the steam, you can see that uh, we still can't see the steam very well, and that's because of the default settings that have been applied as I open it up. I crushed the blacks a little. But most of that steam's gonna show up in the shadows anyway, so I'm gonna open up the, the shadows here a little bit. And uh, as we open up the shadows, you can see it's looking really green. And there's no green in this picture, so that's just noise. We're going to desaturate that green and the, uh, the cyans there, the teal, and then pull those shadows back down until that disappears. It is a little bit noisy, so we'll use some noise reduction here. I'm going to open up the noise or turn on the noise reduction until it starts to look a little bit too much, and then pull it back just a little bit. And with that noise, a few of you might be wondering why I chose to turn the ISO that far up instead of adjusting the shutter speed or the aperture. And we're using flash to light up the steam, which means that it will have zero effect. The shutter speed won't have any effect on the steam, really. It's just lit by the flash. So aperture would do it. But F8, if I went all the way down to F28, that would only be three stops. And from ISO 100 to what's here at ISO 5000 is actually five stops. So there's not enough room with the aperture. I could have done a mix, but I wanted to keep that depth of field. So we've got this looking how we want it. Let's go back to here. I'm going to open both of these together. Edit in. Open as layers in Photoshop. And that will open up both of these images stacked on top of each other. And uh, then we can edit them from there. So here they are open in Photoshop. You can see I've got both of them here. I'm going to put the steam on top. And one thing that I noticed is that when I shot these photos somewhere in here, I, uh, I actually managed to bump the camera a little. So they don't line up perfectly. So I'm just going to move the steam over till it lines up. I turned the uh, opacity down so you can see it there. We're going to line that up. And that looks pretty close. 
pull the opacity back up and then I'm going to use the pen tool to do a rough selection around what we want and what we don't want. And I want the steam to look like it's coming out of the cup, if you look closely. So we're going to turn this off. We'll use the pen tool. We'll uh, come over here, and the steam wants to come inside the cup here. So I'm going to draw a line across the, uh, the edge here. And then we're going to go up to, and keep this pretty big for now. All right, we're going to make this selection. There we go. And then I'm going to turn steam back on. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a layer mask. It should just take that selection and automatically add that layer mask. There we go. And one thing you'll notice is that the background here is still a little bright. So I'm going to take a brush. Um, I'm going to soften it up a little bit and I'm just going to brush out with a black brush everything that I don't want in this layer mask here. You see I'm working in the layer mask here. I'm not actually working on I'm not deleting the image. I'm just masking it out. So, and as we brush this out, we'll get up in here and uh, get that out and clean this up down here. Soften that up a little bit. And uh, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to turn this to the mode here. We're going to switch it to lighten. That will help. And then we're going to actually turn this down a little bit to make it look a little more ethereal, a little more steam-like. And uh, there's that. If we want to go there, we can see that. Uh, there's a couple little things else I can see that I need to fix right here. If I come down here, um, clean this up a little bit right here. We're going to use the stamp tool here, S for stamp, and then I'm going to just clean up this little spot right here. And then we'll just simply take spot healing brush is what we're using here. Use a spot healing brush to get rid of some of these little dust spots here. And this is only probably going to be used on Instagram, so really we don't need to do most of this. You wouldn't see any of this stuff on a small screen. But uh, we'll go back to the, uh, the clone stamp here. Fix that little mark. I, uh, I still like to make things look pretty good, just in case for whatever reason we do use this image for something else. I don't want to have to go back and edit it. We can just grab it and use it. So... Uh, once I'm done with stuff like this, I like to stamp a new layer, and then I'm going to save it, and we should be good. We'll uh, go back into Lightroom, and this new layer should or this new image should just pop up for us. There it is, and that's our finished image. So uh, we'll crop it a little bit, make it look exactly how. I'm going to take this up a little bit. Uh, we'll just straighten that. Bring this in just a little bit. There we go. Coffee cup with steam from scratch. Now you could have just downloaded somebody else's steam and done the same thing. Steam usually comes as an overlay and you can just lay it over. But I always like to just make my own. It's easy enough to do. Kettle full of boiling water and uh, knowing how to shoot it and expose it.
And uh, that's how we do it. So until next time, cheers. Have a great day.